Hey YouTube, uh, we've already kind of introduced you to Sarah's Jeep a little bit in the uh, uh, headliner video that we put out, I guess last week or so, something like that. So what happened was Sarah's got a uh, two-door Bronco on order, uh, has had one ordered for a long time and it's yeah, been I mean, she she ordered that when they like announced it right you guys well, got your reservations in the day they announced yeah it, so right? i had a reservation uh, the morning after the announcement okay and then she reserved one like maybe that next week okay uh, and then we reserved yet another one because uh i canceled mine because it was going to be years before i could get a bronco so i went and bought a jeep the the jeep that you see in all the videos the gladiator uh, but sarah st stuck with it and she wants a bronco so she's, she's had that a reservation since when they announced in like 2020 yeah yes yeah, something like that reservation so since then and she's for been, two years it's been on order for i don't know maybe six months something like that okay so she got an order yeah she has an order an actual order but not a build yet new right yeah. so no build date no estimated ship no, date or delivery date right yeah, so yeah. then that prompted you guys to go for yeah. something different yeah so the last time she reached out to the dealer the response you know to find out if they could give her any kind of idea uh the response was mm, mm. pretty much so you know she's looking at this point at maybe a 2023 yeah 2024 who knows who knows right so right. um she's been wanting uh, a vehicle that gets her up higher because um, little... you guys had what do you have before? so so yeah so she sold her uh, Shelby GT 350 uh, which was the vehicle she had before the Jeep mm -hmm. uh, and you know she was going to use the the residual monies from that to put on to the Bronco uh, and she finally got tired of writing for a Bronco mm -hmm. honestly and mm -hmm. so we went and bought a, a Jeep with that knowing that Jeep sold their value very well so she'll still have that money and set them to yeah. Jeep. Um, yeah. So your intent is then when the Bronco, when she can get a Bronco is when it comes in, you'll just trade this Jeep on it knowing it's going to hold its value really well. And well, yeah, that, that's kind of the tentative plan. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping she likes the Jeep and just keeps the Jeep, but the Broncos and are And why wouldn't too. she, right? Yeah, the Broncos, are, <laughs> the Broncos are great. Look, don't get me to lying on the Broncos. We've driven them. We've looked at them. They're great. Right. So it'll be no crime if she ends up with the Bronco. Either there. way, you're doing well. Yeah. yeah. So, but so effectively, Ford has bought two Jeeps. Yeah. In so that's two. <laughs> that's, that's two Jeeps that Ford has purchased for us, or caused us to purchase anyway. Uh, and I'm not getting a Bronco. I love my Gladiator, and I'm not getting rid of it. So, you're lost, Ford. But so. yeah. So we got Sarah's Jeep. It is a uh, a 2020. Uh, Wrangler Rubicon two door. Um, it was pretty stock when she got mm -hmm. it. Uh, they had with the six cylinder and the automatic, not the yeah. not the manual, not the four cylinder. Right, right. right. It's the six cylinder yeah. automatic. Um, the only thing they'd really done to it, the previous owner had done to it is they put some Nerf bars on it. Mm -hmm. Well, we've pulled those Nerf bars off because they were kind of bulky and not really what she was wanting. And put her some new Nerf bars on it. Uh, put her a a uh, headliner in it which you know you guys have seen in the videos um yeah and uh, she needed a phone mount and that's kind of why we're here now really uh i have the bullet point mount in my yeah and you here. showed me that and got me turned on to it because mm -hmm. i looked at the competitors the ram mount and the ip67 and they're kind of pricey and I wasn't really sure and then you kind of took the plunge and got the bullet point because of their price point and showed it to me and I really liked it so I was looking for one and recently got the opportunity to pick one up so yeah. and then and then now you guys have put one in hers yeah so as soon as she got it that was the second thing we did right the first thing anybody should do is replace that ridiculous antenna that Jeep still puts on these. I think they bought like a semi truck for them in like 1975. And they're, yeah, they're still, still using them. them. That's probably true. Yeah. I think that's true. Uh, yeah. So Jeep, if you're watching this, please like yeah. get a better antenna. New antenna. That's cool. it, it's not hard, but, um, so yeah. So what we kind of thought we'd do today, one of the things we wanted to do is just not really talk about the bullet point system or how to install it because quite frankly, they're really easy to put in. 
which is one of the reasons they're so great, but also just really how configurable they are, which I think adds a lot of utility to them because they're almost infinitely configurable. The sky's kind of the limit. If you can think of it or find a mount that is compatible with their 20 millimeter ball mount, you can pretty much put it in there. So you can put whatever you want. So today, what we're gonna do is just take you through all three of our Jeeps and kind of how we've chosen to set up our bullet point system in each Jeep. Yeah, uh, I think yours is gonna probably be the most elaborate in the end of it. Uh, right now, mine is. Uh, Sarah's is pretty basic. It's got the, you know, the GoPro and the phone mount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it, it puts the phone right where you need it. It yep. holds it very securely and it's easy to put it in and take it out. I, mean, I don't know what else you're looking for. Yeah, and I think, you know, the bullet points got so many different options on their website, different mounts and things for iPads and whatnot, and they are really sturdy. They're really well made. Um, the only downside, I think, to the bullet point system probably is power distribution and cables. Uh, I know that's not really a bullet points it, thing. They they do mounting systems, yeah. but... In, in the Jeep, which is our experience with it, they make the same mount system for all kinds of vehicles. Right. So I don't know what the power is of. Yeah, well, and obviously like in the Bronco, Ford, one of the things I think Ford has done really well is they've put USB power and USB COM ports up in that kind of top of the dash area mm -hmm. with the intent that you'll put stuff up there. Um, in fact, I think they've got their own factory kind of option yeah. for that. Um, Jeep does not do that. So even though the bullet point mounts are solid, if you want to run power or want to be able to run Apple Car Pet Play, um, you end up having to kind of run that cable around. And uh, it would be nice if, not bullet point, if you guys are watching this, if you could partner with someone and maybe come up with some kind of USB power distribution kit or some way to get it hooked into the USB comm system on the Jeep and have, have a have, have ports up there, that'd be really, really great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm afraid it's gonna be pretty well, no matter how you go about it, a little complex, because you gotta get up through that dash. But yeah, it's maybe. not gonna be easy, but you know, we like doing stuff to our Jeep, so we yeah. could probably figure something out. Um, but yeah, the bullet point's great. Love the bullet point mount. Um, they were at the Moore uh, Overland Expo in Springfield, Missouri, that I was lucky enough to get to go to a couple of weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, the footage from that isn't really usable because I'd never been to one before and was too much like a kid in a candy store, admittedly. <laughs> um, but I did talk to that guy at length. They've got a really great product. It's all made in the U.S. Um, and uh, they were just really great people and, uh, you know, kind of made me want to buy their product more. So it's a little bit of a shameless plug for Bullet Point, but uh, I don't mind uh, plugging a part of product when the people are good and the product's good. So uh, It probably goes without saying when you see how many subscribers we've got. Bullet point didn't give us nothing. No, no, they didn't give us anything. I'm not being paid to no. say that. It just, no. it, the guy was really nice and uh, really helpful and uh, kind of steered me through some of the different possibilities that he's used bullet point for in his own vehicle, et cetera. And uh, it just made me feel better about buying it. So um, I guess that's going to about close the video up. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is a little bit different format. We don't get to do this very often because we don't live in the same state uh, as you guys probably have figured out, those of you that are subscribers. Um, he lives in Florida and I live in Arkansas. They're up here because they came to visit, so this gives us the opportunity to kind of do this. Um, if you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the content uh, or comments whether it really helps us a lot. And uh, we're going to try to continue to make content like this as much as we can. Maybe we can figure out some way to do it remotely. I don't know. We're kind of new at this, so. Um, but anyway, that's gonna close the video out, and uh, I don't know, I guess that's about it. We hope yeah. to see you guys out there, and uh, this is Order of the Traveling Hats. Bye. I think that was good. Yeah, I think that worked out well. We can get Here's a quick preview of my bullet point setup. Got the uh, phone mount here. Uh, on the left in the center here we've got the gopro mount and uh, this is my newest acquisition I actually just got this a few days ago the uh, holder for my gmrs handheld uh, it, it fits in there perfectly your uh, belt clip it has a uh, holder here in the top so it goes into that and just fits in there nice and snug that's not coming out anywhere Sarah, Sarah got her new Jeep a couple weeks ago, and uh, one of the first things we ordered was a, a bullet point 
uh, phone mount for hers. Uh, super easy to put in. It's got two mounting points, one there. And one there, you just pull the rubber tray out that Jeep gives you and uh, screw this thing in. It couldn't be easier to do. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, one thing I did notice, when I ordered mine, my uh, arm here was like a uh, shiny carbon fiber, uh, which, you know, when it was by itself was great. When I ordered my radio holder, they've switched. It looks like to a lot more of a matte color or just a, a matte finish on the carbon arms. And then when we ordered Sarah's, hers came with the matte arm. So, you know, I uh, snaked her matte arm so that mine would match. And she's now got my glossy carbon fiber. But that's just uh, my uh, OCD kicking in and wanting to have the same bars. It doesn't matter at all. I absolutely love it. Super versatile. You can have even two more mounts here if you had things ipad for some navigation or anything like that um yeah i, I love mine well this is uh sarah's jeep pretty basic setup she's got the phone mount here the gopro mount which you know she'll probably never use but nevertheless it's the same setup. The Wranglers and the Gladiators is the same dash, so everything fits just exactly the same. Same situation with the cord. You just got to route it around unless <clears throat> you're better with electronics than I am and you could somehow hide it up there. Bullet point, that's something uh, you might want to work on. But yeah, uh, the bullet point mounts are, are fantastic. Here's the, uh, the shiny carbon fiber that I took out of mine so that mine matches like we talked about earlier. Uh, but that's it, man. It's a... Uh, you can't beat them. All right, so this is the bullet point mount in my Gladiator. Currently, I've just got one arm on it. This is the cell phone mount holder. I picked this up at the Moore Expo uh, about two weeks ago almost and then ordered the remaining arms that I wanted because uh, they were just out of them at the Expo. So I haven't gotten here yet. They'll be here this week. There's a handset holder for a uh, radio, for the GMRS radio, because currently it's kind of dangling from the roof. And I've got a mount coming for my Garmin InReach Explorer to go up here. And I haven't got another mount. I'm worried that may be busy enough up here. We're gonna get that in and kind of show you guys how that works in an update. And then we'll decide if we wanna do anything else.